In this video, I'm going to tell you about the much-awaited Bosch CX-5 power upgrade. I'm going to tell you exactly when it's coming and how you can get it in your motor. I'm going to tell you what motors are not affected, unfortunately. And I'm going to tell you all the measurements, how much faster you're going to be, how it's going to affect your range. And I'm going to tell you about some other Bosch rumors as well. What's up everyone, FC here from EMTV Review and we have heard about the Bosch EX5 upgrade and it is coming. The date when it's coming is July 14. July 14, my friends, it's gonna appear in your app, maybe a, an app update and then boom, you'll have some new options for your Bosch CX-5. You have, you'll have the, this new EMTB Plus mode, but most important, you'll have a slider where you could command 85 newton meters to 100 newton meters. So the peak torque is gonna go from 85 newton meters to 100, and then the peak wattage is gonna go from 600 watts to 750 watts. So it's gonna happen. So what motor does it affect? It affects the CX-5 motor as we see here. It has a, a model number BDU something, BDU384Y is what it's gonna work on. The 374Y is a CX-4. It is not gonna work for your CX-4 motor, your CX-3. So it's very unfortunate that it won't work on CX-4 because CX-4 looks identical outside and it's on a lot of 2025 bikes. So the CX-5 motor has a Trojan horse, a hidden bigger magnet, bigger core in here that's waiting to be unleashed. So they kind of snuck it in when they heard about the DJI uh, power and the specialized. Uh, everyone wanted to be at 100 newton meters, so they snuck it in and they didn't want to alienate their or, or leave their, their current customers high and dry because they had a lot of CX-4 inventory. So they said, okay, just uh, uh, sell out your CX-4 inventory and then you can buy the new CX-5. So that's what's going on. So it's great for CX-5, but I know you CX-4 owners out there are going to feel slighted. I have a CX-4 on my Pivot uh, Shuttle LT and I'm, I'm going to be a little sad. So CX-5 definitely will have the upgrade. Okay, so what bikes can you uh, buy with the CX-5? They're growing. Uh, this is the the RE Team Peak, uh, and we will have a link in the description. It's been a good bike for me. You could buy it with a 600 battery or an uh, 800 battery. Uh, it has an extender as well uh, available. And if you, we'll have links in the description. If you buy it through the link, we will get some commission on it. So uh, do that. And then the other bike I'll have listed is the Orbea, the Orbea Wild, a great bike as well. I've done reviews on it. Uh, and they will have a links to Jensen as well for that. The Trek bikes, the new rail, they have CX-5 motors. They were unexpectedly successful, so they haven't been able to send me one, but all indications are it's a great bike, short on inventory. And the great thing about uh, Trek is they go down to price points because they have aluminum versions. They go down to like 5,000 and change. So imagine CX-5. So there it is, okay? Next thing we're going to talk about is performance. So as you guys know, I do my own power meter testing and uh, I will definitely do that. So July 14th is when it's going to come out. July 14th, probably midnight, maybe East Coast time. So as soon as I get that, I'll go to my local hill, put on my power meters and, uh, and give it a run. But good news is a company, a media that uh, I definitely respect called Velomotion in France has done their testing. They developed a, a, a bike dyno, dynamometer to measure. All right, so here is their chart, I'll throw it up. The main thing here is you'll see in the bottom, near the bottom, uh, but maybe 12th place is Bosch Performance CX-5 Gen 5. This motor right here uh, gave out 547 watts at the wheels, claiming 600. 547, which is kind of true to form. And then the with the upgrade, it's going to go up to 684. Man, my eyes are bad. Uh, an increase of 137 watts or 25%, a 25% bump. So 85 to uh, 100 newton meters, that's not quite 25, maybe that's 
in torque, but in watts, it's going to be a 25% uh, boost. So pretty darn good. I mean, it's so good that it, it just kind of leapfrogged the specialized uh, Gen 4 S works, which was measuring at 655 uh, on the wheels. Okay. Another key chart that they have is how will it deliver to you? When will uh, the motor deliver you the power? So the chart here is the motor power is the vertical and the horizontal is the, the power of the rider. So it's a little bit more supportive to you guys to, um, you know, from 50 uh, watts from the, from the human, from, from your pedaling, uh, all the way to uh, 170 uh, watts. But this CX-5, it wants you to put in about 200 watts of, of power. Then, then from 170 to 200, that's when it gives you that extra boost. So, you know, if you put it out, it's going to come out. And then that's where you get the, you know, the extra 25% of power. And it's pretty flat, pretty flat line, uh, really good delivery. So you could definitely feel this. Uh, so pretty darn good. Another chart they have is, oh, this is just the, the power delivery of other motors. So, you know, that, that green line is very good. The, the red line at the top there is the DJI Avanox. And this is just at full, you know, full peg. Uh, and it, the DJI Avanox can give you all the power. Uh, even, you know, as soon as you put in like 100 watts of power. Uh, but it's not like that, really. It, it's very configurable. Uh, but you can see, I think... The green lines of the Bosch are very ideal uh, for allowing you to help to get a workout uh, while still giving you some super boost. All right, the next chart I have is thermal stability. Okay, this is where you will pay the price. Uh, it's, very, it's bad, but it's, uh, it's not that bad uh, as, as I explained to you. So the, the first line, uh, the, jaggedy, the jaggedy line like that is the, or the, what do you call it, the darker line? is the Bosch CX-5, the 85 millimeters before the upgrade, okay? So if you go full boogie, full, 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 and a motor is putting out 85 millimeters, after about 14 minutes, it's gonna drop off, like come off a cliff, like boom. <laughs> and what that means is um, it's overheating, it's overheating, so uh, it's gonna start to, to, to throttle itself down. This, after you do the upgrade, it's gonna throttle itself down much quicker, after about eight minutes, it's gonna it's gonna come down, come down to come down to earth. So that's bad because you know it's overheating. You know they don't they didn't have design and new cooling for it. It's just old cooling and ventilation. But it's not that bad because I doubt that you're gonna feel this. The other piece of news I have for you guys is the the you know that display I was talking about that beautiful glass display that they have. Uh, they said it was gonna come out July August or uh, summer, it's not coming. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, my friends in the, in the manufacturers have not seen it. So if they don't see it, that means they can't ship it. They can't test it. They can't ship it. Uh, and uh, we're not going to get it. So they're going to get it first, the OEMs. And then later, whatever they have uh, a portion to us uh, consumers, uh, you will, will get it. So probably Europe will get it first. And the demand for and the demand for this piece of glass is going to be insane. Everyone with a CX-4, with a CX-5 is going to want it because that display is just not that good, okay? So I would say 2026 for that piece of glass. And if, you, if, you, <laughs> if anyone gets it, they could probably sell it for 800 bucks at eBay uh, this year, okay? Uh, and the last piece of news I heard is, uh, and this is purely rumor, is uh, that, you know, that Bosch SX motor? Uh, that they have, they're starting to spec it. I'm seeing it spec in some new bikes being released, and uh, I'm all like, why? Why is that motor coming out? It's so weak. Uh, I like it. It's 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 okay, but it's it's it just doesn't have torque. And they said, hey, might get a torque upgrade in August, but only only the new hardware. You know, the ones that are being it's got a specific part number that's being released on the latest bikes. You know, not not the Bosch SX from from last year. All right, my friends, that is the news and gossip for, what is it now? July. Thanks a ton, everybody.